From the Journal of Aphromos Long Journey, Pilgrim. With notes by Avos Tor, scholar of Reeve Library. Ma Day, 13th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn. I have done it. This morning, I left the clan at the late spring oasis. Now I will have a cycle of travel before the solstice, and will hopefully avoid misfortune. I will need as much luck as I can find. Today, travel was fairly uneventful. I am traveling north, towards the Far Downs. I have never been there, but I have heard that the goat herders there are friendly. The money my first father gave me will be useful in dealing with them, so I am confident in that leg of my journey. Perhaps they can give me advice on where to go from there. Note, the goat herders of the Far Downs are... I am told, a somewhat more civilized breed of troll, constantly at war with their wilder neighbors. Aside from making fine cheeses and textiles, they are famed for their engineering prowess, often creating bridges spanning miles out of nothing more than stone, wood, and woven goat hair. I do have one note of interest. I passed by a large stone this afternoon. For the most part, it was identical to many other such stones in the desert, reddish-brown, rough to the hand, and roughly spherical. It was about twice my height in diameter, and at eye height there was writing. It indicated that someone, I could not make out the name, had been there. There was a strange, almost totemic picture inscribed next to the writing depicting some sort of creature peering over what I took to be a wall. Only the creature's fingers and the top of its head appeared over the wall. It had two crudely made circles for eyes and an oval snout. The head had neither fur nor scales on it, but that may be due to the stylized nature of the drawing. The only other significant feature of the figure were two large pointed ears, much like a fox's. I wonder who left it there. Note, the picture Aphromos found on the rock was undoubtedly a totem of some sort, perhaps some sort of guardian over the area around the rock. Maybe in days gone by, people met by this rock and created a deity to keep watch. Truly fascinating. The writing on the other hand, is clearly graffiti.